Welcome everybody. Hello ASA. There you are buddy. So we are recording uh, for YouTube today. I just want to point out this little sample video of what my stream normally starts like, but it's full screen and we have a transition screen now. The mods is by Scooter's Workbench. This is it's being done live on Twitch. All the, the map reviews are. We got two in chat right now, so as more comes in and fills in, that'll give more input on the maps and stuff. If you want to come and take part, hit the follow because we do a lot of different games. Like we're going to be doing Snow Runner, Go Hunter, stream partner for them. So I'm going to have early access to their demo. You'll get first looks at that. So be sure to hit follow on my channel on Twitch, so you can come over and take part in that. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much the news. We do a lot of old iron gameplay, and as well as other games, like I said. The old iron gameplay, we've been doing old Hank Williams Jr. music, like before he became Hank. Some um, old rock, and we've also been doing all-out radio. So a lot of 1920s, 1930s music as well. Been doing song requests, if it's anything before around 1970. And that way you can kind of enjoy the old, old iron gameplay as it's being done and kind of give your request of the music you like to listen to. Alright, welcome back everybody. We're looking at Brassel Sul. This is a Brazilian style map. And the description it says, ta-da. It says the South Map of Brazil made by William Antenor on FS15. Then it was converted to 17 and 19. We got credits. Use your creativity and create your headquarters and lands your own way for a good game. So basically what this person has done they have allowed you to make your own fields i guarantee oh good global company and the next conflict is no i do not have global company installed we are just looking at a map this house does look familiar i mean they could have done the same thing when i was kind of Working with G and G back the first of last year, I may mention about we needed some more uh, sleeping triggers and stuff. I actually have videos on my YouTube about that, so you can bring those up if you want. Just look for sleeping triggers, and um, basically, it might come up with a whole bunch of houses with sleep triggers, or they could have just picked one of them out of the map and brought it and put a sleep trigger on it. So it's pretty simple. So we walk right out, we literally are right here at our fields. Let's bring the map up first. There is no number of fields or anything, so there might be transport jobs, but other than that, no, there is no jobs. There is one sell point for your grains. You got a little extra place for a root and a potato. I do not know what that is in that language. Of course, you got a place for your milk and your barn related items, which is this one. As far as what you own, you own down here. Like I said, there is no fields. You'll be making all your own fields. You can purchase all of the outside and all the shops for 2.7 mil or you can purchase that whole interior for 1.19 million good to know let's see what you get in the garage but i'm assuming well assuming <laughs> that it's probably gonna be empty it is it has a house but if you play old iron like me, that's not a problem. You can throw down a government sign if you need some money. You can get developer tools if you need some money or something like that. It's not a big deal. 100,000 old iron. 
I could tear that stuff up and not be broke for weeks. So, I love my old iron gameplay. I don't know if that's this map doing that or another map. I do have several maps in this list. So, literally, you are right next to your fields. It does have that Brazilian-style fields with this type of road. It does have traffic. It's on the opposite side. So if you're like me and play like me, you might want to pay attention to what you're doing because you're going to plow into the cars. But it does have some life. But this is your little town community right here. Your store. I assume this is your sell-all sell point. Here's the area that we start with that is shown in the picture. I think you got this one as well. Yeah. So you got this land. Nice looking little border. Proper amount of clutter. Pretty nice little drive through here. Down to a light. It's not completely flat. You do got some rise and falls. We are a, a map within side of a map. I don't know if they plan on adding to this one day. So, you got another place right here, and one across the road. So, yeah, it's just Brazil-style prairie plains that, well, kind of like our prairie plains. That goes on for miles. This could be literally one field if you want to plow it up. You just plow it and make it however you want. Some people are going to say, I don't like that kind of stuff. Well, some people does. I mean, this allows them the ability to create any style field they want. It could be squared up. It could have unique designs. You got trees you can place in now. You got buildings you can place in. You got all kinds of stuff you can do. So save your money up if you want to play the map. But, I mean, it's, if you're not into flat lands, you like some pretty smooth rolling hills and stuff. Right here is one of the sections that you buy. And it goes all the way to here. So, this other section that is shown that's over here. For what two million? Yeah, you don't have access to that. So unless you can carve your way through there with a chainsaw, your main see so your traffic even turns around right here. So there's no sense in buying this out here. Because unless you can get through all this, you're not going to be doing it anyway. This is the only place that you'll be able to farm. It's going to have a really natural flow of the hills. You got traffic, like I said. So if you're into creating your own farms, this might be the map for you. So, with that, 